What up, Hyper Change? Welcome to another episode. Today, I wanted to make a quick update on the Tesla solar roof products. So I made a video like a month or two ago. I'm so excited about the potential of this and like what it means for the solar industry instead of putting ugly panels up. We can put these cool new roofs on houses. It's a new paradigm for solar, but I'm beefing. Check this out. Tesla originally said they wanted to start select installations in California of the solar roof in June. This was reported by Electrek on May 12th. I'm gonna show you guys the article. You can look at it right now. And I also wanted to show you guys, if you check out Tesla's website, which I just hit, it still says that installations of the solar roof are supposed to start in June, beginning in California. So I wanted to ask you guys, have any solar roof installations started? Do you know of anyone who has a Tesla solar roof? Maybe you got one. I'm just bummed because I thought it would be out by now. This, what's interesting about the solar roof product is now there's some new news that hit today, which is that Peter Rive, um, one of the other co-founders of SolarCity and also Elon Musk's cousin, has now quit the company. And he was the CTO and specifically in charge of the solar roof project, not making me feel too good that the solar roof project looks like it's late. It's July 19th right now, 4, 10 p.m. And we still haven't seen any installations, even though we're supposed to start in June. So it's like a month late. And now the CTO who's in charge of the project quits. I don't think it's an issue. I just think like, I mean, maybe it is an issue. Is it the end of the world? No, um, they were sold out until 2018. So it looks like the demand is, is huge for these solar roofs, but they need to figure out how to build it. I'm gonna have to scrap my estimates of like five or 10,000s roof being installed pretty soon if they don't start delivering. Yeah, they're just falling behind. Although I did wanna make another note about this. For those who are now like, oh, well, the found the two founders of Solar City left, uh, Peter Rive and London Rive, both of Elon's cousins. This is a disaster. Like it shows that the acquisition made no sense. I think this was planned from day one. Elon Musk helped his cousin come up with the idea for Solar City at Burning Man, funny enough, way back when. He was the chairman of the company, watching from afar, letting his cousin run it with this lease model. My guess is he got pissed because his cousin was not running the business correctly. The lease model was screwing over the company. He saw it was running him, them into the ground. The bonds were trading at like 20% because the market thought the company was going to shit. And Elon was like, no, I'm not gonna let Solar City fail because you don't know how to run this company. I'm gonna buy it. So yeah, it was a bailout. We've been talking about this, but I think it's gonna be a smart bailout. So we bought it out and his cousin was one of the highest paid executives on all of Wall Street too. Elon Musk makes zero dollars in salary from Tesla. So I'm also kind of like, eh, he probably looked at it was Peter Rive or London Rive, whatever. The Rive bros were kind of milking Musk's image, just cashing in on massive checks, parading around as this disruptive company without really being able to run a company as well as Elon did. So that's why he bought it out to just do it his way because he knew he could do it better. So, and that's 100% what I think went down. I, it, maybe it's totally wrong, but that to me gives me some comfort of like, yeah, I expected him to lay off Peter Rive. The names are really hard to keep track of. Lyndon Rive already left the company when the acquisition was announced. Peter Rive is now leaving the company after eight months. Peter's the CTO. Definitely more worrisome that now the CTO, the brother who looked like he had more text, technical expertise, um, is leaving. I don't know what to make of it. I don't think it's necessarily the end of the world. I think Elon's plan from day one has been to streamline Solar City and just integrate them into Tesla's business model. And that's the only really way to save the company. But it is very worrisome to see that they're late and the CTO left. I'm a Tesla bull. You know, I'm an Elon fanboy, but I'm also real. I'm an investor in Tesla. I was stoked about this piece of the business and it's moving slower than expected. And I hope there's not bigger issues at hand. Anyway, that's HyperChange with a quick update on the solar roof. Things are moving slower than expected, but anyway, still a fan of Tesla, still bullish, still a believer. See you guys next time.